Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors and part two of our video where we're trying to answer the question whether a fake can will reduce the accuracy on your rifle or not. Now just again a quick recap, um, lots of people up here in Canada do like to use a fake can, uh, especially the reverse thread ones, uh, it's the same ones uh, I use uh, from T Crew North Arms and uh, that is because we have uh, rifles with 18.6 inch barrels to have them as non-restricted rifles that you can shoot out on, on in the fields and so forth. Um, and what that does, it just creates a little illusion that uh, the barrel is actually shorter than it is, right? Um, so it's a very cosmetic. It does have a little bit of function in the sense of it acts as a barrel shroud. So if your barrel gets really hot and you touch it accidentally, it won't burn your hands that badly. All right, so in part one, uh, what we did is we found three rounds of Winchester White Box, which was the same box of rounds that we used um, in testing a WSMCR about a year ago without a fake can. So uh, our MCR right now does have a fake can on it, so we shot those rounds and compared the results. And what part one did was it suggested that, um, you know, a fake can does not reduce the accuracy. However, there's a lot of holes in that video. It's just a shoot them and let's see what happens kind of one. So today in part two, we're gonna take a little bit more of an empirical approach. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be testing uh, this again, uh, but we wanna take control of as many other variables as humanly possible. So our test rifle today is gonna to be our WSMCR with the Spec 180 lower uh, from Spectre. And it's also gonna have the uh, True North Arms fake can on it. Now this rifle is chambered in 5.56 NATO and the ammo that we're gonna be using is gonna be our Black Bear bulk loads, right? So all the conditions will be the same. It's gonna be the same rifle that we're gonna be using for both uh, sets of shooting. Um, same shooter, the works, right? And uh, all that we're gonna do, it's gonna be a very simple test, is we're gonna shoot five rounds with uh, the rifle, um, with the can on it, and then five rounds without the can on it, and we'll compare and we'll see what our results are. So as with any of our uh, accuracy videos, there's gonna be a long list of caveats. Uh, basically, uh, this is our rifle with our ammo in uh, these conditions, uh, so your results may vary. This is just what we get. Uh, don't take anything we say as law, you know, it's just our results and yours may vary. Uh, all right, guys, uh, we're also going to be editing uh, time between shots. That's just not to bore you to death. So uh, let's head over to the range and see how it goes. All right, folks, so without the can, uh, we actually got a one inch group. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, let's see what happens when we try this with the can. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so even though the group with uh, the fake can actually looked a little bit tighter, um, they're actually the exact same size. You know, both of them were one inch groups. So we can say with um, certainty that at least for us, uh, the fake can does not uh, reduce accuracy in any way, shape or form. An interesting point uh, to notice though as well, is that the point of impact shift was noticeable, but it wasn't as severe as I thought it was going to be. So um, guys, there you have it. That's our results for today's video. Um, again, your results might be different. Uh, so if you learned anything new today or enjoyed our video or just a little bit entertained, uh, please give us a thumbs up, uh, hit that subscribe button down below and leave us a comment. That certainly helps us out to survive out here on YouTube and make more videos for you. And you all stay safe and we'll see you next time.